900 kilometers per hour. Whoa! In this episode of my Sam Car Reviews, we'll be doing wheelies with the Cam-Man. By the way, if you want to check out this mod and many other mods, click the Nexus mod link down in the description box below. And you might want to check out my guide on how to install mod loader and mods down in the description box below as well. Now with that out of the way, let's get on with this mod review. So this is the V8 Cam-Man. And one thing that you realize immediately is that it doesn't have the fork loader arm on the Cam-Man anymore. And it's been replaced with this big V8. So yeah, as you can see the stacks over right here, the engine, the alternator over here. Another change between this Kemet and the stock Kemet is that this Kemet takes the normal gasoline compared to the diesel or the MPO. And as we move to the interior, as you can see, there's no more the hand throttle over here. So we just have the ignition right here. And also, it sounds much different than the normal Kemet. It's much louder right now. So yeah, other than that, this is just basically a stock Kemet with some improvements and also if you are wondering if any of this thing works, yes the diff lock works, the shifter, the handbrake still works, the rear hydraulics as well as long as you have the Kemet turned on. So as you can see the rear hydraulics actually works. And with the interior tour completed, let's move on to some testing. So first up I've lined up the V8 Kemet and the stock Kemet for head to head drag race. So here's the clip of that. So now we're going to do the top speed test together with the trailer. So now we're just going to hold down the brake, hold down the throttle and here we go. Whoa! Oh dude, I didn't even notice, look at the kilometers per hour. 900 kilometers per hour. Now with all the speed tests done, let's move on to more practical stuff such as normal driving on the dirt roads. So here's a clip of that right now. So now we're just gonna move on to the dirt road testing. As you can see, the Kemet just drive like a normal Kemet. However, if you have the tractor with the flatbed on the back, it actually provides more stability throughout the corners a little bit. So yeah, just not jumping around as much. Even though right now it's gonna jump a little bit because of the power, excess power we have of the Kemet. So yeah. As long as you take it carefully, you should not have any issues controlling the Kemet. Now, as you can see from the clip, the V8 Kemet actually can handle pretty well on the dirt roads. So now let's take it to the highway to do more road testing. So I'm just going to switch it to the external chase cam mod, so you can see the kilometers per hour together with the RPM gauge. So yeah, as long as you're going 100 km per hour or so, it's not too unstable with the trailer on the back. However, I'm just going to unattach it a little while more, so we're just going to check if it's really unstable without the trailer. Alright, so now we're at 116, we're just going to go through this bend over here, and here's the straight. 
Oh, and one thing I realized is that the trailer actually, yep, it does that. So, yeah, as long as you go around 100 km per hour and try not to crash it, the camera actually performs like the normal camera. Alright, so now I've unhooked the trailer and let's see how unstable it gets. So, I'm just gonna go up to around 100 km per hour. Alright, so it's around 100 right now. It performs well, so you do not need to worry about the camera just jumping around. But as long as we keep to the speed limit, as you can see right now, it's like 170 km per hour. It gets a little bit unstable like the Hyosiko van. And with the highway test completed, let's move on to the final test, which is the drag race. So here's the clip right now. Alright, so now we're just going to move on to the final test, which is the drag race. Now we're just going to line up to the yellow line. Alright, here we go. And that's green. I'm not sure if I jumped the lights, but it seems that like I did not jump the lights and just got it off perfectly. Alright, let's just check our time. Alright, so here's our timesheet. As you can see here, it recognizes the 75 Kemet over here, and we got a 13 second pass with 211 kilometers per hour. Anyways, that's all for this V8 Kemet mod review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, toss a like, get subscribed to the channel for more future videos just like this one. And also, if you have any mod recommendations for future videos, leave them in the comment section down below as well. And with that all being said, as usual, my name is Victor, signing off. I'll catch you guys in my next video.